Hi, hi, hello. So, when I heard this new feature came out, I, I knew I was going to do a video on it. Also, after all that painting, this is going to sound kind of funny. Animation felt like a fresh, a breath of fresh air. Before I should get into this, if you like these animations and you're new here, you should subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you should share. My commissions are open. All my links are in the description. And thank you for watching. So, yeah. Okay, so onto the, I have two animations I made. One is a lot more clean than the other. This one is just of my persona dancing. I thought it was quite humorous. I copy and pasted the cells a lot because I, this isn't like real fluent animation. It was probably more like an animatic of my character dancing, but also at the same time, I don't really know how to I'm, I don't, I'm not going to animation school. I never even took an actual animation class. I, I'm just, I'm just guessing, which is bad, which if you really want to learn animation, you don't do that, but I'm just doing it for fun. So it doesn't really matter how I learn. I also prefer to learn by just repeatedly messing up and then learning how to do the right way as slow as possible. Bec I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, even with drawing, I prefer that and I, I have to discover the better way myself. So, this is- I might use this if I make a new intro, I might use this animation because it is very cute. I had- I had- I had a lot of fun drawing it. I copy-pasted a lot for the line art because basically what I did is I animated half of it and then I flipped- copy and flipped to the other half and I had to- I had to fix some of the continuity errors that happened, like the spikes kept on flipping whatever side of the belt they were on and I was like, oh, d I can't- I can't have that and I, so I fixed it. But, other than that, that was that. This was, I actually like this more, the, the interface for this animation, more than I like Clip Studio, and more than I like Procreate. And I dislike Flip a Clip, just whenever I first tried it, I could never figure out, figure out how to make the animations actually look nice. So, I just, I just didn't. So, if, if you are a somebody who wants to animate this, I didn't even look how to look at a tutorial to figure out what I needed to do to do this. I had all my brushes that I usually would have for sketching. It's, this is, it's being covered up by the... So, okay, warning, this speed painting is a screen recording of the playback it gave me because it wouldn't let me export the speed paint with it being an animation so the next the next animation i do i actually screen record a part of me drawing it so there's i i zoom in and out a lot so if you're a little get a little motion sickness i would say i'll tell i'll warn you when you get it you got to check out but you know so yeah but the way the layering, the way the system worked is there was a frame and you could have X amount of layers per frame. And you also, if you press down on however long you want, if you like hit the little, like the frame, it'll ask you if you want to duplicate the frame or if you want to, like how long you want the frame to stay, which if you want, which ended up being my savior, so I didn't have to duplicate a bunch of frames over and over again if I wanted a character to stay still. I did learn how to not to, 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 I did learn Clip Studio Paint, you could do that, but it took me a little bit. This was like, really intuitive. I didn't do much research about the animation, this animation program, so I can't really say, like, I know, apparently it doesn't work with audio, so, if you were gonna do something with audio, it'd probably be a little bit more challenging. But if you are like new to animating or you see animation programs and you're scared like me, this is the best thing you could have ever asked for. This, you know, I, I can't even describe how much I, I like this. Like I'm dancing, like 
how my persona is dancing for the fact that this even exists because it's so it's so like simple i i just love how simple it is like there's like an easy i didn't think it'd be this easy and it is which is surprising to me because i thought the simplest i was gonna get for animation was like procreate and this is simpler and easier to like i did like when i mean i had to not ever look up a tutorial i didn't look at a tutorial once and i figured it out so if you're new and or bad at tutorials even though they're there to help you this i, I can't even i can't even like i can't recommend this more for animation especially for beginners this works on and since well since ibs paint works on i use my my laptop to do this and it works on phones i think it's a lot more accessible than some of the other nicer programs because procreate is mainly for your ipad there is pocket procreate but i think there's not as much in it just i'm guessing from the name so the fact that ibs paint has these like these things or well not these things but the fact that they have such such like like it's like so accessible i it's more accessible than like anything and it's so easy it's so nice anyway there's there's me dancing i might make an improved version of this with a little bit more movement but that's my lazy clean animation okay so this is where I start doing the screen recording of me drawing where I'm moving the canvas. If you get motion sick, you may want to dip now. Uh, just a warning, because I don't, I don't want anyone to feel sick. But this is where you get to see my layer, the whole like... Oh wait, no, I, I cropped that out because I didn't want the home screen to be shut up. Anyway, so for, uh, for this first drawing, because it's getting closer and closer to Halloween and I'm getting more and more into the Halloween spirit, I drew my my one demon OC who she doesn't have a story. She just exists for me to draw. She has a personality, which her name's Debbie because she's a devil. I'm so creative. And I would change her name, but it's just it's stuck on me now. And it's and I just find it so funny of how like ridiculous that that name is. But in all essence, this character is just a, like a sloth or like lazy, plays video games all day and is has a short temper. Very powerful demon does nothing, but no, absolutely nothing with, with it. And that's as close as I have to a story. She doesn't have horns because she has the wing ears and it's up to you to decide why she has the wing ears <laughs> i i mean yeah i just thought they looked cool maybe she's like oh it's so edgy half angel i think i think i'm starting to lose my mind a little bit but it's all right you're <laughs> you're here to see it but i think yeah that was my original purpose of why she didn't have horns and had the wing ears I designed her a long time ago just to draw for the sake of drawing. So she doesn't really have a purpose or a story. She just kind of exists for me to draw her in cute, like, pastel goth outfits. I didn't give her an outfit for like that for this animation because I wasn't going to animate that kind of outfit over and over again. Um, so I just, I didn't. I don't know what else to, what else to say other than... I gave her, I did give her clothes though, because I'm not that lazy. Um, she has, um, like a bandage top, like a bandage tube top. I, I did this mostly because I think, like, I think her appearance, like, in hell, because she's a, she's a demon, is a lot different than what her appearance on Earth would look like. And I do believe that she has the ability to traverse both of both like places most i don't know mostly because i think it, it's interesting and it gives me an excuse to draw her in more places and just fire when i do draw her or why she has these outfits in the first place she also has goat eyes because like goats demons two plus two equals four 
So yeah. The first thing I did was I did a rough animation. So the rough animation is basically just my under sketching for the animation. I'm trying to get the basic movements down. And then for the over animation is the actual like details. It's not just the shapes moving. It's the detailed versions of the shape that are indeed moving. So for this, I did do a lot of the copy pasting because I'm terrible at keeping consistency. So or tracing over a frame and then just transforming it to where it needs to go. I did this for the face a lot because I can't keep, I can't keep, the one thing I really can't do with animation is keep things consistent. So I just, I, to keep the face consistent, that's what I did. Like I said, for the outfit, it was pretty simple. Um, her body type is very like skinny. When I ever, whenever I imagine her in my head, I imagine a stick and so I drew her as a stick she's not like she's not like like meant to be like a succubus style demon or anything she's just a stick I don't I mean that's at least well yeah that's what I just was thinking in my brain but it's my character so I, I get to think whatever I want about <laughs> for the hair I tried to make sure everything was moving real like not maybe not realistically but like Moving how you think it would. So I tried to make sure the hair moved the way you think it would. The wing ears. Which, yes, I changed the wing ears. I look up a reference on Pinterest. And I figure it out. Because I keep on doing it. And I'm like, this is not how I draw these. How do I draw these? I do not remember how to draw these properly. And I figured it out. But that'll take me a minute. Um, but. Other than that. And then, like. Um, you'll see me edit this later. But parts that should move um other parts that should move that i'm not gonna say here that i, I could have just left out but i was like extra detail ex extra detail i'm only doing this once you might be seeing some like animatics come out from me because this was so easy and simple and it wasn't because i could it was a lot more easy to control the seconds on there on the um on the frames because I just it was just it was just a dial thing like the brush thing at the bottom but it had a number and it was how long the frames would hold it was a lot simpler it'd be a lot simpler for me to control for animatics and if I get the time I might I might do that these animations these quick animations didn't take exactly take me very long so they were very time time since not time sensitive they were kind of time sensitive they weren't like me making like three separate paintings and for me at least making these quick little animations actually takes me less time than it does to make a fully finished piece so i i do like making them they're obviously not finished animations and they're obviously not like perfect but they're they're mine and i i like them enough because i don't really know how to animate so i'll, I'll take it so for the gist of this animation, the movements, I wanted, well, I, okay, I feel weird saying her name, Debbie, because she, her part of her personality is she's quick to anger. I wanted her to like be angry as one does. And I wanted her to like go from like standing up to like going down and then for her to come back up again giving the viewer the middle finger on fire because she's a demon so of course she has fire manipulation just something like nothing like too terribly like difficult for me simple easy like really easy i don't even know like this was pretty easy i didn't have to do really any angle changing except for at the end i didn't have to worry about perspective or even like a background or other elements you see me cut away a lot or these cuts it's because i stopped recording with screen recorder because my my laptop was was really hot and i used my screen to draw on with my laptop so it was starting to hurt my hand because it was getting too hot so i would turn off the s screen recorder also because my pen would just started to randomly not work and it's my comp it's a my computer screen problem and every, I have to exit and re-enter IBS Paint. And so I would stop recording so that I could exit and re-enter 
IPS paint uh, so that it's not like a pain and you guys don't have to watch it and I don't have to edit it out. I also colored this off screen because it would be it would I, it would be boring for you guys to watch me color this, especially because I don't I don't line art it. I just slap a color under it. So yeah, that is this is my animation. I'm not sure what else to talk about. If you guys have any suggestions for next week's video, I would I would love that. I'm running out of ideas. Also, um, as of recording, we are four subscribers away from being at 777 subscribers. What? <laughs> maybe it maybe won't be that way by the time I by the time I release this video, but that's so cool i'm like i'm like hyped i mean it's literally the number behind my my username it has no meaning of well it has no meaning meaning to me i just picked the i just picked the 777 because it's easier for at least me to say it's one of the easier numbers but yeah i'm i'm excited for that i'm gonna i might do something special for for that i'm not too sure of, of what yet but i'll probably do something special so yeah and i guess some other news since everything's getting well my life has been very hectic as of recent it's a, it's a miracle i've been able to upload once a week still you might be getting less effort from me oh and here are the, the last three animations heading up next or oh wait they're not heading up next so bear with me if i'm late for uploads it might just be a few hours, or it might be a day. My, da Vinci sometimes takes a really long time to export for no reason. <laughs> and it sucks a lot. So, hopefully, I'll be I'll be fine, because I'm recording early. And, and for next videos, obviously. But yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for watching and being here for your like. And those of you who've been here for the two, the last two two almost three years thank you so much for watching i really appreci appreciate you and i hope you liked watching me animate and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye